126 pounds, you're going to be fighting uh, Simfiwi uh, Vitjeka from South Africa and in Macau. Tell me about that fight. I think it's an incredible fight. Uh, you know, Vitjeka is no joke. You know, he's defeated um, Chris Jan, who's been the reigning champion for quite a long time. Um, and who was undefeated for, you know, for, what, was 50 some fights or? Forever. Forever, yes. Yes, one of those, one of those, a lot of numbers. Um, so he's a really good fighter. And uh, even some writers have me, go, or actually saying that I'm going to be the underdog going to this fight. So, so you know the caliber of the guy I'm fighting in front of me. Well, I remember the last time you were underdog. Uh, it was a, you fought a guy named Victor Chinian in, I believe, 2007, and, uh, and it wound up being the, the knockout of the year. Uh, is that something that actually motivates you to be the underdog? I think so, because I've lived my life as an underdog growing up, you know. And I think that it's just when you're uh, the, the underdog, you, you know, you, uh, you have nothing to lose, you know. You have everything to gain, because um, all you go out there is, is you know, you, you just got to perform. Um, you just gotta do your best, and and not, no one's really giving too much of of what you can achieve, you know, going ahead of me, especially with the Dutch Union fight uh, back in 2007. Um, so so it, it just there's not much uh, pressure. That's why that's why becoming a world champion and staying a world champion for a long time is the biggest challenge because there's just so many things, there's so many expectations from people. So. So um, yeah, it, it feels good to just be to feel like I'm the underdog and and, and going in there and uh, just not worrying about things. How do you remain so hungry after all these years of? I mean, you've been a champion now for about seven years. Uh, you know, there was there was diminishing of of that feeling or that emotion, but you know, with everything now, uh, the defeat, the 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 family, the son, the uh, the and, and knowing being in that crossroad of of. of of uh, whether I want to continue or not, you know, whether I still have the fire, and knowing that, then that hunger becomes intensified even before I became a world champion. So, I think that you'll see a, a much more hungry fighter than, than ever. You know, I actually um, I spoke with uh, HBO's Peter Nelson uh, in Macau, and he told me a story that uh, he had a conversation with you after the the last Archinian fight, where you knocked him out in the ninth round, but we're behind on the cards. He said that. Um, you told him that uh, you weren't sure, is this it? Is this it for me? Um, what was it that was able to, that enabled you to really dig deep and come up with that knockout? It was probably the first time in your career that you needed a knockout to win. I think that was the first time ever that I needed a knockout to win. Actually, that, that, was, one, that was actually the fight that really woke me up. You know, um, I, got, I got a multiple fracture for that fight. Um, and, and every time that I, get, I got hit in the face, it hurt so bad, you know, in, in the middle round somewhere, six, seven round, all, all I could ever think about was, is this it for me? Is it, am I done? You know, this is their chin, this is the guy that I knocked out pretty fairly easy the last, the first fight. Um, so I was questioning myself, you know, it, it's, so, it's so much easier to just roll over and, and then just say, forget it. Why do I have to suffer more? Why do I have to feel like... I could go another round. I can just stop it right here and now, and, and I don't have to suffer too much and have an excuse that I have a uh, broken or fracture, fracture, uh, you know, in places in my face, and I could just make that an excuse. But I realized that I, I have more balls than than than, than what I think. I, you know, I give myself credit. You know, I could not let myself do that. I just couldn't. You know, and and um, and that's why I realized now um, where I'm going to be in boxing, and I'm going to be here for a long time because. I know exactly where I'm at, and and um, and because of that fight, realized that I do truly want to be here, and I want to be on top, and 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 uh, it woke me up. Well, I finally got to uh, meet the uh, the newest donor, um, Jarrell, of course. Um, tell me about um, what that's been like. You know, you, you've been a father now for I believe a year now or so. Uh, eight months. Eight months now, coming up on a year. Tell me what that's like. It's a new experience for yourself. It's amazing, man. You know, there's so much trials because. Um, it's you gotta kind of know how to you know how, I mean there's a lot of responsibility you know for me I, I chose to bring him like that's where everywhere I go he's always with me you know because I, I don't want to miss a, I don't want to miss a, a moment of him growing up even a, a month a week even a week or a, a couple of days was was so much you know for being for being so young it's 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 they grow so fast and um, just just living every moment of it with them it's it's been amazing it's been such a, a great I mean, it's amazing, you know, and and there's really nothing else that I could I could really uh, compare that to. You Do you know? push the uh, the shot the, the the stroller while you're doing your running in the morning? 
<laughs> no, I don't. I don't do that because you know he's he's a he's a heavy sleeper when it comes down to like he, he sleeps long. So I don't want to wake him up or anything like that. But I do a lot of things. Uh, uh, you know, like just changing him, uh, watching him, playing with him, feed him. You know, all that stuff. You know, I, that's one thing that I enjoy. And and the, the the most that I truly look forward to each day is when he falls asleep on my chest or in my arms. Nothing beats that. What's harder, raising a child or training for a fight? Um. I would say that, that raising a child brings every emotion from you because you, you can't neglect yourself, you know, you can't neglect what, what's, what's around you, you know. Training, it's, it's so easy. It becomes, it becomes uh, something that you memorize, your body memorize, and it becomes just, just from step A to Z, you know. But with, with the child, it, it changes every, every week. It changes his ways of sleeping, his, his, his ways of eating, his ways of doing things, he's learning everything. You know, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing, but at the same time, it's, it's very challenging. And um, also, I want to ask you about, um, because uh, you, you talk about yourself as a father, um, you have uh, you brought your father back into the stable now. Um, he's going to be training you. Uh, he's training you for the last fight. Tell me about what's that dynamic like? Um, what, it, what, what does he bring to the table that you, you may have been missing in the past? Uh, to be able to use my head all over again. You know, I just got used to just just going with the flow. You know, this time around, we're returning back to how we fought, uh, using our head and, and becoming a better counterpuncher, becoming a faster fighter, and just an all-around type of fighter like I was before. So um, that's something that's coming back, and, and you know it's a blessing that we have two months or more to to work uh, for for the next fight. You know, the last fight we didn't get enough to work for you know to work together in terms of, of learning the things all over again. But this time we have the opportunity to, to uh, for my body to memorize the things that, that we had before. I also want to ask you about um yeah you're gonna be training here in Manila is that correct? Um, will uh, Robert be joining you? Uh, I think Robert will be training my dad for the Mayweather fight so mm -hmm. um, maybe after that. But will he be uh, giving you like, some instructions? Uh, I know he had been a strategist for you in the past. Uh, most likely, I mean, Robert's there when when he, you know when he shows up in the fight and, and it's just, we just click you know we just click we're just kind of you know we're just veteran that we kind of know from you know from just not seeing each other even if he's not in camp you know it's seeing each other in 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 the corner and just like yo you gotta do this you gotta do that and boom we just get it just like that and i say just want to ask you um you have any last words you want to say to the fans about your fight coming up on may 31st i believe yeah may 31st uh, in uh, macau do you have anything you want to say about it um Stay tuned, man. You know it's a great motivation that I have now. Uh, I'm I'm willing to step in in there again and enjoy the moment being inside that ring. And uh, I think I know that you guys will see. I am I am a new fighter, so you guys gotta look forward to that.